Welcome back, guys. In in this uh, 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 video, we're gonna look at how we normally use the loops in 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 our uh, our uh, solutions. Uh, and I'm not going to go into detail details of each and every part. I, I I'll try to to give you uh, the concept of most of the uh, the uh, the uh, building blocks that you normally use in your day to day solution and normally uh, which are uh, being used by different uh, uh, people while they are building the solution, right? And that's why we st uh, are trying to target all those uh, realistic concepts that's gonna help us while uh, we gain the job and we are uh, uh, working in a in a practical fashion right so the the very next uh, important concept is is building the uh, the loops uh, and normally you know we uh, we have three sort of loops in in any language which is the for loop while loop and do loop by the way, you can use any loop for any work. There is no no uh, limitation on on all three loops, right? Uh, you can use any loop for all uh, the purposes, right? But in in uh, in this case, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually show you the first two because that's what we generally use a lot into into uh, our uh, our code. So that would really help you to to understand the concept of the looping. Looping, uh, like if you want to do some task repeatedly until unless a condition has met then you actually use a loop in your in your uh, uh, code right so let me reiterate the the uh, the uh, the definition of why we use loop if you find a scenario where you want to uh, to uh, 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 do some task in the repeated uh, fashion or you want to repeat something uh, again and again that's where the loop comes into uh, handy right so let me just quickly start with the while loop what i'm going to do while uh, and what I can do, let's bring the first hundred uh, uh, numbers on the screen, right? So let me just uh, initiate the counter, right? And let me just call the counter is less than equal to 100 and I'm going to, sorry. By the way, in order to complete the blocks, I forgot in the in the last uh, video, you need to end up with colon. Colon actually indicate that you are starting a block in Python, right? So in generally, in all the blocking statement where we have the block to to compose the command, that always end up the with the with the colon. So you can see if. Uh, at the end of the if because now next I'm starting my uh, uh, bunch of commands so I need to put a column to indicate to compiler that that's okay it's going to be a block same in here because in the while condition uh, I'm going to loop on some commands so I need to put the block right that will tell uh, the compiler yeah there are bunch of commands coming after this command all right so in while what I'm going to do I'm going to first I'm going to print the number Let's say counter comma i. So it's not i. I'm not choosing i counter right. And then because I need to move to the as soon as one iteration has completed, I need to go to the earth the next iteration, right? So it's not like you can uh, you are not going to change the counter and think the the condition will reach. So the loop will terminate. Like I mentioned in the definition, where you need to repeat some task in the limited capacity or the with the number of limited iteration, right? So for example, if I want to execute one particular thing hundred times or thousand times or even millions. Of of time but that's still limited right we have the range which we need to where we need to execute that task that's where it, the loops come in uh, in the picture and help us to achieve it right so in here you can see i'm running my loop but i'm running it uh 100 times because i want to print 100 numbers on my screen mm -hmm. all right so once one number has been printed all i need to do move on to the next number which is simply adding a, a an increment or adding one into my uh, uh, last number. So that's why I'm saying whatever is the last number, how it's going to uh, uh, achievable. It's going to actually look at the last number because I'm saying whatever the last number is, add one in it and reassign back to the same variable, right? So because in the initial, if I just uh, quickly go through the, the, the flow, 
counter is going to be initiated with one. And now what counter is going to do, it's going to actually add, uh, add one, which is obviously one plus one, two. And that is still in the memory until unless it's going to assign it back or override the value of the counter, which is going to change from one to two, right? And then the same thing happen is for the next iteration because the old value is going to be true. A two is going to add one, which is going to be three. And it will again uh, override the value two from three. And then it will keep executing till it reach the condition 200. And once the 100 will, will reach out, it will add the 100, uh, sorry, it will add one into the 100 and store it back onto the same variable. So value will be changed from 100 to 100. But now this time, when the condition will evaluate, it will check now the condition is not valid anymore because the value of counter is not less than or equal to 100. It is obviously greater than, so it will break the loop. So that's where the loop will uh, stop termination. By the way, if you mistakenly won't put the termination condition or your value won't reach to that value, it will infinitely execute your uh, your code, right? And that's what we normally call infinite loop, right? So make sure you have a proper uh, valid condition that will reach uh, or bring us to the termination state, right? So in this case, obviously, once we reach to the uh, 100 mark or once we go over the 100 mark, that will terminate the, the loop. All right, let's run it and see whether it's going to give us the same. Uh, outcome that we have discussed or are expecting. Yeah, we can see it starts from one and go all the way to towards the hundred, right? So we have a nice counter which we are using uh, to 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 uh, uh, to print the the value of counter, right? So that that's a very simple concept of the loop that we generally use in in our programming language, right? So keep in mind anything that you want to do uh, uh, repeatedly with a limited uh, iteration use the loop and that, that's where the, the loop comes into the picture. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any question in the loop. I'm still gonna continue the looping in the in the next video because this video will give you a very good idea on, on the while loop. And in the next loop, we're gonna discuss the for loop, right? So have any question, put in the uh, comments more than happy to answer. Otherwise, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the for loop.